Welcome to Karim's Clinic. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. May God bless you. And uh, I would request that you share, like, and even watch. Today we are talking about herpes zoster infection. Herpes zoster infection is also called shingles. It is a viral infection caused by the virus called the varicella zoster virus. This is a herpes virus. This virus is the same one that causes chicken pox. After a person has had chicken pox, the virus remains dormant in the nerve tissues near the spinal cord and the brain. However, it can reactivate later in life, causing shingles. The reactivation of varicella zoster virus typically occurs when the immune system becomes weakened or compromised. This can happen due to aging. Of course, when someone ages, the immune system is compromised. It can also come as a result of stress, and there are certain medications too that can cause it. Underlying health conditions also can lead to reactivation of the herpes zoster infection. Once reactivated, the virus travels along the nerve fiber, causing inflammation and the characteristic painful rash associated with the shingles. Remember, if it is along your left arm, it will you will see the, the shingles along one line of that left arm from probably the shoulder down to your fingers. The symptoms of herpes zoster infection usually begin with tingling or burning sensation in a specific area of the body, often on one side, as I've mentioned before. This is followed by the development of a red rash that turns into clusters of fluid-filled blisters. The rash is typically confined on one side of the body and follows the path of the affected nerve. In addition to rash, individuals with shingles always experience other symptoms such as fever. Apart from fever, they also experience headache, fatigue, and sensitivity to light. The pain associated with shingles can be intense and may last for weeks or even months after the rash has healed. In other words, even after you have healed, you will still feel the burning sensation on that particular scar. This is known as postapetic neuralgia and can significantly impact a person's quality of life. Treatment of herpes zoster infection focuses on relieving symptoms and preventing complications. Remember, this is a viral um, infection. There are medications that we can always use for such viral infections, like the aciclova, falaciclova, and famciclova. All these can help to reduce the severity and the duration of the infection if started early. Pain medications, topical creams, and even anticonvulsants may also be prescribed to manage the pain and discomfort. Now, prevention of shingles is possible through vaccination. The varicella zoster vaccine, also known as the shingles vaccine, is recommended for individuals aged 50 and older it can reduce the risk of developing shingles and decrease the severity of the symptoms if the infection does occur. 
it is therefore important to seek medical attention if you suspect you have shingles as early treatment can help alleviate symptoms and prevent complications that is all karim's clinic had for us today and thanks for listening